What's going on everybody? It's your boy Strix playing more Marvel Snap and today we're taking on Lamentus One, a location that works in two parts. First, draw three cards and destroy the entire rest of the deck. This is a really fun location to play because it forces the player to kind of think with the cards they have left. Today I'm going to be using the Rise of the Silver Surfer deck. This is the deck I've been using lately. It's been a lot of fun. It's been helping me rank up. So let's see what I have recorded and I am now narrating for. So, expansion. Ah, yes, he snapped. So, I snapped back. I was feeling confident with this one. Uh, and I just wanted to retaliate back. Throw down Korg for some early disruption with the rock. And it looks like he has a discard deck. So, that's why Blades are there otherwise. Central Park opens up and squirrels galore for everybody. I throw down Iceman. Continue the disruption of his cards. He pulls out a collector, which is not bad. And here it is, Lamentus One. This is where all of his dreams come crashing down on him, because now he has no other cards to feed off of in his deck. So, but I have Brood, and I have the Brood and Silver Surfer combo ready to go, so I'm not worried at all. X Mansion opens up, gives me Gamora, and gives him Dr. Octopus. And he tries to go and steal Yandu to no avail. So, go ahead and play Ironheart to help buff up everything that's on the field right now. He has the rock, that's the rock I sent him. So there you go. A couple of extra buffage all over the place. And now with Silver Surfer, I get even more buffage. Lady Sif takes out Nakia, and I get to buff up both the Brood and Ironheart. So I've already won two locations. Hopefully he had nothing else to work with here. So Yondu can't destroy anything, there's nothing in his deck, and he had Wong left. So, I'll take those eight cubes, thank you very much. And there you go, that's a victory for me, baby. Let's go. All right. This guy, Cal Drago. Let's see what's going on in this one. All right, first we have the sewer system, minus one. Put Yondu down. And what is he gonna destroy? The Destroyer! Ha, ah, how's it feel? All right, he's got Ant-Man out. And now, here's the cool one, Gamma Lab. Anything after turn three? Oh, well, after turn three, all the cards there to transform into Hulk. So, I got two ones, so that's great. Iceman and Korg, playing Disruption. He plays Armor, which is not bad at all. Clearly, we're running a Destruction deck, obviously. All right, and of course, Lamentus One back at its shenanigans. Draw three, and destroy the rest. And I keep getting Brood and uh, Silver Surfer as my combo. Every time I get it, I'm like, yes, let's go. Easy 15. And especially with Lamentus One, it's pretty good. I throw out Nakia uh, as an extra Hulk in there. He has Cosmo, which now pretty much negates my ability to use anything in Sewer System. So I'm all in on Lamentus. Play Nakia to buff up, uh, buff up those two. He plays Warpath, which he gets a buff from Lamentus one. But I got Silver Surfer and I got Beast, so I can play both of those again. So first, buff every everybody up. Actually, just buff up Nakia. But the point is for me to use uh, Silver Surfer again. He plays Claw, so now I play Brood, then I play Silver Surfer. I snap. Because I'm confident in victory. There's no way he's gonna see. Even with Doctor Doom, can't can't compete, bro. Cannot compete. I got the broods. I got my hulks. Buff up everybody. Easy four cubage. Easy four cubage. There's the victory screen. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Mmm, tasty. All right, got another match here. B tide. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, the Mindscape. Start of turn six, I swap hands. Now, I skip my turn here, playing anything. I could have played Korg, but I wanted to use Lockjaw in order to rotate the cards. Central Park comes up. Squirrels everywhere. Squirrels galore. And now I have another hood. It's like, okay, Lockjaw, Korg, hood. Perfect. I can do a lot of rotation. But then, Lamentus. Lamentus one destroys my deck. So, I don't even have a chance to draw anything from the deck. So now I gotta pivot. So thankfully, I have Brood and Silver Surfer at the ready. So first off, 
Oh, he has a destruction deck. He plays Carnage, destroys, gets Bucky. I play Hood and I play Cork. At least Hood got me a demon, so that way I can use him for extra power. Brood goes out, demon goes out, and I'm ready to set up for a play. And then he plays Killmonger, which destroys everything. All the squirrels gone. Killmonger, official squirrel killer. Brood comes out, demon comes out, and I'm sitting pretty, pretty nicely right now, actually. So, this next turn is important because the hands are going to swap next turn. So I leave Nakia and Lockjaw because those are weak cards. I play Okoye, and then, of course, I got to play Silver Surfer to buff up my Broods. And now, because I'm sending him weak cards, I get all his strong stuff. And because I know I, they don't have enough power, I went ahead and put Shang-Chi and snapped because I'm that confident, baby. Look at this. I play Shang-Chi. Two power Lockjaw, one power Nakia. I get the tie. And then I win by having more Unlamentous versus Central Park. That was a sweet victory right there, actually. A little cocky, but sweet. Anyway, thank you guys so much. That was Lamentous One featured the Rise of the Soul server deck. Please check out Marvel Snap. It's a great game, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, and bye-bye.